Hi, my name is Seth Melden. I'm a Principal Solution Engineer here at Progress. We're going to be talking in this series of videos about how we can build dynamic forms with Corticon JS. Uh, we're going to start from the ground up and also uh, develop an actual form based upon rules that are created within Studio, generated into a JavaScript bundle, and executed in a client-side dynamic form. To start out, we're going to show a little bit of what the final product is so that there's a clear understanding of what we're building up towards and what the value of this ultimate output really is. We'll shift into the aspects of the rule modeling that went into creating these rule-driven uh, dynamic forms, uh, how there are specific considerations for using Corticon Studio when building dynamic forms, versus the more prototypical type of use case for Corticon or a rules engine where it's just data in, data out, and you're on your way. And then finally talk about how uh, the decision service bundle, the JavaScript itself created from Corticon is uh, responsible for one aspect of the dynamic form and how the rendering template, which we provide out of the box, which can be adapted to your organization's needs, uh, what that is responsible for and what the decision service itself is responsible for. So to start with what we're building, let's talk a little bit about a sample use case that we'll use for illustration's sake and to illustrate all of the concepts involved here. The sample is going to be a homeowner's insurance policy, uh, the origination of rules for uh, the a given property that will uh, set a level of coverage of uh, the dwelling, personal property, and liability coverage level. The state, U.S. state, which the property is within. And optional lever levels of coverage, maybe adding electronics, flood coverage, or jewelry uh, insurance. So those are all different inputs which will ultimately be uh, evaluated by Corticon, the decision service, uh, and rendered into a final quote based upon all of those inputs and the rules that we're going to be creating. 